Hello guys, Borshik here and today I want to show you a quick way how to gear and level up your alts so you have like somewhat decent gear character for 8.3 so you can like faster uh, well continue the grind you could say uh, in an upcoming patch so you see right here my shame is 402 in like 2-3 days time after digging 120 it's nothing special but I don't do dungeons I just do daily stuff I have full binthe gear a bit upgraded as well well, decent stats. I have a lot of versatility, which is like important for a resto shaman. So you can upgrade the 385 benthic pieces with your prismatic mana pearl, and you buy those pieces actually with your main character because you can already have like all the world quests unlocked. So it's really easy to send all those pieces to your uh, alts. You can see I'm right here. I'm just like checking my demon hunter because it's like quite bad, bad gear and thinking about what character I should um, gear up next. You get like the quest when you log in after the 15 year anniversary, a timely invitation that makes you uh, go to the Council of Time, which is like underneath a portal, really easy to get there. So you click it, loading screen, and then you actually have to talk to uh, Chromi. Uh, I found this way like really useful and the reason I didn't instantly make a video about this because I'm not really, well, that don't really want to be that kind of channel, I guess. But due to the fact that I've actually get so many trackers of, uh, with this method, um, even though it's not like the best gear, it's nice to have like to know that you have like one turn trackers with like somewhat decent gear so you can start questing when the new patch comes out. Get a random uh, epic achievement if you swap the rings around with item level. Um, so yeah, you get the quest timely invitation, you fly all the way down to the canvas of time. Yeah, I see that my guild members are like offline for like ages. Swapping our trinkets just to get the item level up, you could say. <clears throat> and there you have it, you have Chromie. And after you finish this quest, you get another quest, which is like really important, Soldier of Time, which means that if you enter the battleground of Korax Revenge, you can actually earn, have to earn 500 honor in size and you get 400 Time World patches. It's really important that you hold on to them because the Alteric Valley gear that I'm about to show you will actually... Uh, cost time well batches like 20 to I think 45 and some marks of honor so it's really easy to earn 400 batches 10 marks of honor and even if you have like marks of honor around on your main you can send them to your alt so it's really important you hold on to them also when you uh, enter the Korak Revenge Battleground you can accept the quest to kill Korak but you do not necessarily have to kill him inside Altrek Valley there is a way that I'm about to show you on a world map, that you can go to Zoldrak in Northrend, the amphitheater. So you spawn here in Dalaran, and then you go to Zoldrak, and you go to the amphitheater, and there's actually a quite a long, well, long, it's a chain quest, you have to kill multiple bosses, and when you eventually get to Korak and you kill him, you actually get the credit for it. Then you have to requeue for Korak's Revenge, get the 500 honor to get your time wall batches done, and you can turn in the quest and you can actually get a 400 item level for free. So you do not have to kill Korak in the battleground because most people just focus on killing the bunkers ASAP to get one to two levels when you win the battleground as Horde. As Alliance it's quite hard but you can actually sign up to be, if I'm not mistaken, in uh, Horde Assassin. Um, and then you can actually like participate with the Horde. Um, after that you turn in the quests and you actually have to fly to Hillsbrad Foothills which I'm about to show you here. And then in Runes of Altrek, it's actually on the bit on the right side where my mouse is now, Stanbrad. There is uh, the Altrek Valley Vendor. Yeah, I zoom in a little bit. I was kind of search for it. So you talk in Orgrimmar with the Zeppelin Master. There's a portal now, because Anastasia is destroyed, obviously. And you actually spawn here at Zidorme. Then you fly south, and you fly to, well, Crushed Hold is like... Um, the, the, the visual that you have to fly towards that. And then over there is actually the Altrek Valley vendor. So yeah, it's like really easy to gear up alts. Idol is like fairly high, two, three days of farming, but you do not necessarily have to do anything with it. Like if you look at my monk, for example, um, 378 item level, uh, without actually doing much, I just enter the battleground. I try to do objective because everybody scaled down to 60. So my damage and healing is like not the best, but it's okay. My neck level is like really behind, but due to the catch-up system, it's like really fast uh, leveled up. I mean, my shame is like already like 61, 62 in like barely two days. Um, 
you just have to put like a minor effort into it, like maybe like a daily emissary when you have uh, like the uh, artifact power. And uh, I try to do the mana pearl uh, and Najatar uh, quests with that give mana pearls for my shaman so I can gear up. I d haven't touched a single dungeon. I have done like one brawl on it that I got like a lucky trinket from. And you can see right here. Yeah, I got invited by my guild where Boba Shook is in. And then here you can see the vendor. And you can actually see like the items, the weapon, the, the two-handed palm is like 90 time war batches, but like one mark of honor, 20 to like 40, 90 time war batches, like nothing. Because you get like 400 when you actually turn in the quest for Korax Revenge. Uh, the 500 honor one, excuse me, um, at Chromie after you earned it. And the fact that you, if you kill Korak outside in Zoldrak and you enter, you can actually get a 400 piece. Like you can see here, my mace is like 400, which is like, amazing it's amazing that you can gear up this fast it's not that easy to get like well low item level decent weapons and rings the trinkets though you actually have to buy which is like i guess 10 to maybe 12k gold for two trinkets if you're like on a well somewhat populated um, realm so yeah like easy way to gear up i think i'm gonna go over my alts here in a second as well to show you uh, well what kind of gear i'm rocking <coughs> 378 item level, you can see here, 385 benthic piece. I haven't touched anything else on these characters. So I just did Korax Revenge from like level 110 till 120 in like two, three hours tops. Full benthic gear. Like the stats are not that amazing, but at least it gets you started. You don't have to farm greens and blues and whatever. Like you can even upgrade the benthic pieces like on a daily basis, just an alt. By the time 8.3 hits, you'll probably be like, I guess 410, 415, maybe a bit higher. And this character actually has the trinkets. Next up, I have my Paladin. It's like on Outland. Uh, I didn't have a lot of gold on it, so I didn't buy the trinkets, but like 364. Again, not amazing. But imagine if you had like some gold, it would be like 380-ish. Do the daily national quests. It's like five to 10 minutes of your time tops if you have flying and everything. So really easy to gear up alts in 8.3. And then you also see I have like the red weapon, which is like the unstoppable force. I'll leave some uh, Wowhead links in the description where you can find the quest for Amphitheater for Korak and uh, the one from the anniversary. I hope you find this video somewhat useful. Just want to throw it out there. It's like a really nice way to have like Chinese a little bit geared so you can get started for 8.3. Uh, leave a like and a comment if you have any questions or want to support me. Make sure that you subscribe. Thanks for watching and bye bye.